Hi, my name's Joe. I'm the BIM manager and a registered architect at Respond Architects, and I'm just going to talk you through some additional features to the BIMX Pro app. So when we send you through a model, there's often a lot more information you can do than just look at the 3D. If you click on the little I button to the side, you'll see a lot of the information that we include with the, um, the model. Things such as uh, the building name, site area. You can also see where your site is. If you click the address, it will zoom to the maps just to make sure you're in the right place. We go back to the app. You can then open the model. And you come up with this view. A lot of the time we'll just issue a 3D model, in which case you would only see the picture to the left and the little 3D icon at the top right. Sometimes when the project is more progressed we'll also issue drawings to you. These are all in folders down the left hand side here. If you select a folder it'll expand and show all the different drawings that come with that different drawing set. We've got plans, we've got elevations, sections and depending on the stage we'll also have different construction details further down. If you want to draw, view a drawing, select the drawing, and off to the right, just click to view. Once it's open, you can use two fingers to navigate, zoom in and out, and if you select the little tape measure at the top right, click and drag to a point and let go, select it again and drag to another point, then you can take a dimension directly off the plan, select the tape measure again to turn it off. In the drawing we've got lots of blue highlighted markers. Each of these can navigate to different drawings and details. But if you click the house in the bottom left corner, this will then open this particular drawing in 3D and allow you to see how the 2D relates to the 3D model. You can turn this section view on and off with the icon on the bottom left. And you can return to the drawing by selecting the layout view at the left. From this view you can navigate to other views, you can select an elevation. Clicking the marker shows you which views are associated to this and you can either view it by pressing open or you can show it in 3D in the way you've just shown. You can also select different areas and different objects. If we select this sink for example, you can show it in 3D and it will show you where this object is within the model. You can then select the drawing at the bottom left and go back to the 2D. If you want to get back to the drawing list just click the four lines at the top left and you can navigate to whichever drawing you'd like to return to. You can also select the 3D model at the top left, tap the 3D view and it will reopen it for you. Once in 3D we can walk around the model as though you're actually there. If you select the little man in the bottom right corner, click and hold your finger on the little bubble and we can walk around. When you're in this view you can't walk through walls but you can walk through doors. You can release and use one finger just to look around. You can also select any object or any window and door. Click the little boob button and additional information such as sizes or any web links, if they're specific, can be included in the model. And if you get stuck, you can select a door, select go through and the model will take you there. Sometimes we've included bookmarks at the top right, the little book icon. If you select it, you can add your own favourites, but if you click images in the middle icon at the bottom, there'll be specific views that have been saved select one and the model will zoom to it. Turn off the bookmarks and you're there ready to go. And again if you want to get back to the 2D model select the top right, select one of the drawings and zoom to it. Hopefully the additional information in the BEMEX model will help you further understand your project. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you. Thank you for choosing Respond Architects. 